Hi, it's James here from podcast.co and radio.co and I'm here with Michael Wiley who's a local artist from Sketchbook Design who's been in the office for like the last two, three weeks, something like that. Yeah. Doing yeah. these wonderful murals. Yeah, so it's designed sort of a mixture of digital and hand-drawn. And what I love about creating these bespoke pieces for a specific space, you know, you've got to consider who uses the space, the lighting, you know, who you, your, your clients, you know. Yeah. So the idea with this one, obviously, is like big 3D lettering. Um, talk us through how you, because I kind of just, the brief I gave you is just like, oh, pick any colours you want. Well, I think it was, I mean, we, we sort of looked when we had our initial sort of meeting, yeah. we'd looked at several examples of work that you may have seen, ideas that I had, you know, that um, would work in the space. And then I just went from there, because you approach this from one direction, yeah. the 3D work really pops out at you, so you can tailor it for the direction that people approach the space. Yeah. Um, and I think the colours, as a mix of sort of, because we're putting them on to two lines, like the pod, uh, podcast above each other, yeah. I wanted to sort of break it up almost. So we're using two uh, vibrant colours with the pink, so it really pops and jumps out. And so what's the background going to look like? Once sort of uh, so the background's uh, going to be uh, navy blue yeah. with a sort of geometric patterns coming in. I really like the use of geometric shapes. As some of the paints dry, the, the colour develops. Yeah. So I'm literally been watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do work in a lot of different styles because I like pushing my style, my sort of creative practice forward. And I feel like if I just do the same thing over and over again, I sort of stagnate a little bit. I so, this is, this is what I like about this lesson. I've never quite seen anything exactly like this. Before. No, no. And no. This, again, like, we've got kind of like vibrant, sort of neon colours going on. So yeah. it's, almost, it's almost a bit like neon lettering, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's sort of just having these, the, the, the sort of lines of, uh, through the middle of the letter. And, it sort of makes you work slightly to read it. And it makes a difference because I think a lot of startups have the same quotes on the walls. You've probably seen this because you Of course, you've yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve Jobs a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it was a nice, yeah. nice nod. And also like the sort of Manchester reference as well, but not the yeah. cliche Manchester references. Another bit. Yeah, another bit. Exactly. Yes. This was the first mural you worked on, Michael, and this is the Craig Richards Fire, which is my podcast. <laughs> uh, and uh, we had actually a previous drawing on the wall, but it was kind of, yeah, it'd been there for a year. I was just thinking I wanted something a bit more, with a bit more impact. Mm. Um, but uh, this logo was kind of as as is, but really like, what was the idea behind all these geometric shapes, just to kind of draw attention to it? Or? Yeah, well, I mean, that and also I really like the use of the circle, square, triangle. Um, the inspiration comes from an uh, old so Japanese piece of art that right. was um, uh, basically one stroke of ink, circle and drawn together, circle, square, triangle. And it signifies um, sort of the universe and uh, how everything in the world can be created with those shapes. That's why I quite like the use of these geometric shapes in my work, even if it's just a little nod here and there. With creativity, and also links to the to the logo, to your podcast, to your yeah. ethos, with creativity you can sort of create anything, you know? And uh, if anyone wants to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Uh, so I'm on Instagram at sketchbookdesign underscore UK. Um, also on Facebook, the same, same yeah. tag and Twitter, sketchbook underscore UK.